Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content. Today's video is actually going to be an update video on the WebEx breakout sessions or breakout rooms video that I did previously. So if you're looking for that 101 tutorial on how to use it, how to get into them, how to create them, I'm going to link to that video. What today's video is going to be about is an update to that. So two features that you guys have been requesting, I got a ton of questions on these on the, on the previous video. Number one, can I pre-assign people to breakout rooms while, you, while you're doing the scheduling? And number two, is there a way that people can jump in and out of breakout sessions or assign themselves to breakout sessions? And I'm happy to report with the latest version of WebEx, those two features are actually in there. So in today's video, I'm gonna walk you guys through how to set that up, how it works, what it looks like. There was another feature too that was added in recently, and that is high content frame sharing inside of breakout sessions. So if someone tries to go and share their screen and maybe they have a lot of animations that will be supported in there as well now. So high content frame sharing. So let's go to the computer and let's show you guys how to do these two features. So the first one we're gonna look at is how to pre-assign users to individual breakout rooms. And to do this, you're gonna to wanna to go to the WebEx web scheduler. You're, you can't do this from Outlook Productivity Tools, so you're gonna to have to go down to the web page to do it. Uh, when you're here, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna click on Schedule. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna invite your attendees like you normally would. And then underneath that, you're gonna click on the Show Advanced Options. Underneath that, click on Scheduling Options, scroll down to Enable Breakout Sessions, and then right there you're going to have a new link that says Pre-Assign Breakout Sessions. So if we go ahead and click on that, a couple different ways of doing it. We can do it automatically, and basically what that does is just going to put everybody into um, the rooms manually. We can go ahead and we can pick and choose right now, or you can do it from a CSV file, which is like an Excel spreadsheet so you take a look here this is what it looks like you put your names and this is good because you can save this offline every time you create a new webex meeting you can just pop this in but basically what you would do is you would put the session name there and then the email addresses of the people that would be going into it if it's going to be kind of a one-off thing or something you're not going to be doing all the time um, then you can do this manually you can say yep i want three rooms we're going to set this up manually let's go ahead and create and then right here, you can see all the users that I invited. And I'm going to say, you know, this user one here goes to, and I can assign it to breakout session one. This user here, he goes to breakout session two. And then the last user here goes to breakout session three. Then I can come in over to the top here if I wanted to, and I can go ahead and I can rename this to whatever I want. If we're working on different math problems, maybe, maybe I call it problem one, problem two, problem three. So that's how you do it in the scheduler. Um, go ahead and hit create. And then what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and send this meeting out. Uh, you can start it right now if you want to. That's what I'm going to do just so that um, we can take a look at what this looks like. So let me start this and then we'll go over to the WebEx and we'll take a look at what the actual users see. Okay, so we're in our WebEx meeting now. You've got myself and three other people that joined me today. If I take a look at the participant panel, I can see here's the people that I, I invited. And if I go to breakout sessions, we can see now that I assigned these people, again, this was based off of their email addresses, to each one of these breakout rooms. So now they are in their breakout rooms. And then guys, here's feature number two. So if you click this more button next to breakout sessions, you can say, let anyone join any session. So if I go ahead and I enable that, you can see now that it's grayed out. I guess that means it's enabled. Um, now when we go ahead and start this breakout session, everyone's going to be thrown into their appropriate breakout session, but at the same time, now they can move between the breakout sessions. So let's go ahead, click start breakout session. And as the host, same features, functions, you know, I can go ahead and I can join every breakout session, but let's go over to one of the participants, take a look at what their breakout session looks like, and then show how they can move to different breakout sessions as well. All right. So now we are on, and this is a virtual machine. So sorry, it's a little, a little laggy here, but now we're on Tom's machine here. You can see that Tom got the pop-up to join breakout session two. We're going to go ahead and click join now. And you can see that Tom is in breakout session two, 
We don't have our audio connected. That's fine. And then here at the top, we can now have this link that says show other breakout sessions. And if I go ahead and click that, now I have the option of joining breakout session one if I wanted to or breakout session three. I can go ahead, click the join button. And now I am in breakout session one. So there you have it, two new functions, being able to join any breakout session I want to, and as a host, I can go in and pre-assign the breakout sessions. If you guys like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up, and if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments field below, and we can talk about it. Thanks a lot.